Hey Andre, did you know that the compact crossover is now outselling the family sedan in America? In fact, compact crossovers are the most popular cars in America. Well, I did know that actually. So in this video, we're going to give you the top five safest, the top five least safe, and of course, we're going to talk about the three best sellers and where they fall into this category. Now, we're taking this data from the IIHS, which, as you know, is the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. I always have trouble saying that. <laughs> <laughs> they do a lot of the crash testing. Yeah. And there are, depending on how you count it, either 22 or 25 vehicles in the segment. I did not know that. That's a lot. Yeah, so yes. we're not going to go over all 25. That would be an hour <laughs> video. But we are going to give you the top five safest, the top five least safe. And, of yeah. course, we're going to tell you where the top three popular, most popular sellers yeah. fall in this category. And those, of course, are the RAV4, which is now the most popular car in America. It's selling about, get this, 50,000 units or cars every month. Yeah, it's more popular than the Camry. Yep, followed yeah. by the CRV. Uh huh. More popular than the Accord, and of course, followed by the Nissan Rogue. Now, all these models that we're discussing are 2019 models. Yeah, although 2020 models are arriving at dealerships like the 2020 Ford Escape, they haven't been rated yet, the yep. 2020 models. So, Andre, let's talk about how the IIHS does their criteria, right? They have basically different categories that they put the car into, and those are good, acceptable, marginal, poor. Um, and of course, a lot of that has to do with headlights nowadays. Why is that? Yeah, well, see, IHS have been making their testing more and more stringent, okay. right? more and more tough, because a lot of the crossovers and cars in general are getting more safe. Yep. But how do we know which ones are the best? So they do crash testing. Yep. They do roof strength tests. But they also do, like you mentioned, headlight um, ratings yep. and also collision avoidance system ratings. So all the new tech. All the new tech. They rate all of that and put it together. And to get the top safety pick plus rating, the most coveted rating from them, you have to be good in all the crash tests. You have to have good collision prevention or superior. And you have to have good headlights. That's a lot to ask for. Yes. I just keep making it harder. All right, yeah. so let's start with the top five safest compact crossovers, yeah. with number five being the Hyundai Kona. Yep. So it gets good ratings in every, every crash test. Well, you have to for top safety pick plus and superior crash prevention. And this is basically systems at slow speeds, like at 10 or 25 miles an hour, it will avoid a crash, basically, in the, ve in the vehicle or obstacle in front of you. Where did that do so well on? Well, the headlights. Oh, the always. headlights, yeah. So the headlights are good for the ultimate edition of the car. You know how they have different uh, headlights for like a base model right, versus yeah. the most expensive? Yeah. So those headlights are good, but you get poor headlight ratings on the S and the C models, and that just means not good coverage of light. Right. A lot of people might be thinking that the IIHS is nitpicking, but because cars are now so technologically advanced and there's so much more design that you can put into it. I think the headlights are important, right? A lot of designers have gone over design or functionality and that's what this is testing. All right, number four is another Hyundai, the Hyundai Tucson. Once again, good crash tests yep. across the board have to be that have to be on this list. Superior crash prevention, once again, but headlights is again where the car struggled just a little bit. Even though the Sport and Limited trims of the Tucson get a good rating on the headlights, the other trims are either acceptable or poor. By the way, watching these vehicles crash into the barrier... It's fun. <laughs> It's, it's like fun and it hurts both at the same time. Well, it hurts because it's a good vehicle being crashed. Yeah. But it's fun because you're seeing a lot of mangled metal and just cool. Yeah, the number three is an expensive vehicle being crashed. Yeah. It's the Volvo XC40. And Volvo's always been known for really good safety in general, right? Um, of course, good on all crash tests, superior crash prevention with the latest tech, uh, and good headlight ratings only on the advanced package. So some of these new headlights also swivel in turns yep. or change their uh, light pattern in turns, and that's very important. IHS tests the turning ability of the headlights or the coverage during turns, also on the straightaways as well. You know, I guess out of all the things that are going to be um, fail, right, the, the headlights are the least important. I mean, well, that's I, I how guess, you prevent a crash, right, I guess. Right, right, right. Or, or, you know, prevent killing a deer. Yeah. All right, number two is the best-selling car, Andre, in America. It's the Toyota RAV4. Yeah, and it's been redesigned for yep. 2019. It's an only vehicle. 
Once again, they ramped up their sales to a really huge number. Good crash tests across the board. Superior crash prevention. You wouldn't expect anything less. Uh, but you know what? On the hybrid trim levels, the uh, headlight rating is poor. Really? Which is unfortunate because their hybrid is actually getting really popular. Adaptive front headlight, huh? Yeah. Yeah. No, you would have thought that's one of their more expensive vehicles, too. All right. And number one on this list, the best and safest vehicle in America right now is the new Subaru Forester. You know, Subaru has been doing good on uh, overall safety. They're built with love. Well, we're love, sold with love. And, and, and love means safety, right? So good crash ratings, of course, um, superior crash prevention, good headlights on limited and touring models. So they have more models with good headlights. There we have it, folks. Now, if you've got one of those cars, good for you. Now, of course, if you've got one of the next five cars, not so good for you. By the way, if you want to see the full list, we're going to have the entire list over at tflcar.com. So go over to our website, and you can see all 20 or 25 cars. Uh, but in this video, we are only doing the top five safest, and now the top five least safe. And a lot of this has to do with when the car was designed, right? Because a lot yeah. of these cars I'm looking at this list are older cars. Yeah. All right, number five is the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. And it gets a top safety pick, not the pick plus. Right. So already still good. Still good, but the rating is a little bit lower than the top five safest that we just discussed. Good crash ratings for the crash tests, but acceptable rating in head restraint and seat design. Basically, that means in a crash, how does the seat perform? Is it you know the most safe? Does it support your head, etc. Et With flash protection. Yeah. Superior crash prevention and acceptable headlight ratings. So it does not have the good ratings on the headlights. Number four, our actually look at that, our uh, yeah, our first German entry into this list. Yeah, BMW X1. It's a little bit more premium, yep. you know, crossover. Uh, good crash ratings. Once again, advanced crash prevention system, so not the superior rating, and poor headlight ratings, uh, kind of across the board almost. So, so uh, as far as headlights are concerned, a lot of manufacturers need to step up their game. You know, the great thing is even these cars that are the least safe, they're still getting good on all crash tests, right? Yeah. The, the competition has really brought up the safety to such an extent that you yeah. can't get away, at least here in America, with selling a car that probably doesn't at least get that kind of a you know, good crash Until we rating. get to some of these other ones. Well, I was going there. <laughs> yeah, unless you're these next three. Okay. <laughs> that is number three, the Chevrolet Trax, the Buick Encore. What's wrong with those two? Well, not much is wrong, except recently IHS added the passenger small overlap crash test, which means the barrier comes in on the passenger side where the headlight area is, and they can only uh, do acceptable rating in that test, not the top good rating. So that kind of brings it down yep. in, in kind of a big way. Um, and also basic crash prevention, so they don't have the most advanced crash prevention systems. Hopefully the driver in the car then becomes a crash prevention system. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Yes. All right, number two, the Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. Ooh, now we're getting into the marginal. The Outlander Sport has marginal passenger side small overlap result, which is even worse th than some of the others uh, we discussed. Acceptable driver side small overlap result, so not the good ratings that we have been expecting here. But superior crash prevention and the headlights, uh, poor. Yep, and the number one car on this list is actually getting redesigned. And, and I just, it's a surprise. It's I was su surprised by that. I was surprised, yeah, and probably the reason it got redesigned. I just drove that vehicle, so if you want to look and check out my review of it, uh, it's on this channel. Check it out. But it's the Ford Escape. Not the new one, not the 2020, but the current one that's still a dealership. And that's been around for many, many years, many, like many six years, or yeah. seven years. It's, it's the been only on one actually that got a poor rating. It got a poor rating and passenger side small overlap test, which is, once again, like I said, was a newer test that yeah. was introduced. So the car wasn't designed actually to handle that test and on that passenger side and ba basic crash prevention system, so not the advanced, not the uh, superior ratings there and acceptable or poor headlight ratings. So guys, at the beginning of this video, I said that we're gonna talk about the three top best sellers in this category yes. and uh, we've already covered one of them, the RAV4, that was yes. in our top five list, but there's two others here that we need to talk about. What about the Honda CRV? That's like number two on the best seller list. Yeah, so it stayed up there in the, all the good ratings, right? right? But it was challenged by the headlights once again. So um, I think manufacturers need to watch for IHS headlight tests and yep. make sure they pass them. It did acceptable on the headlight rating, so still pretty good, but not quite 
at the top. You know, I think when people see this, they think that's kind of silly, but I don't know if I'm like you or like you, but when I judge a headlight, I judge it by its brightness necessarily, not by its coverage area, right? So if the headlight looks bright to me, I'm like, wow, that's like daylight in front of the car. Mm -hmm. But I think I, HS is doing better. I think they're actually looking at coverage and seeing how far you can yeah, see. Yeah, they have like six different criteria. Yeah. So they have kind of glare, yeah. um, how much glare does it create? How much light does it throw out You know, in the front of you? So they're very precise. All right, how about the number three car that's at least a bestseller, the Nissan Rogue, how did it do? Well, it's kind of a similar story. I yeah. mean, go good crash uh, ratings and the crash tests, but again, poor headlights. So what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah, you're gonna probably buy one of these top five if safety is an important buying decision for you. Yep. Uh, and I think it is for many people. That's why we're doing these videos. Hey guys, if you're interested in the top five safest and leaf safe full-size truck, go on over to TFL Truck, where Andre did a very extensive list. So yeah. uh, if you're a truck guy or gal, that's a place for you. And as always, remember, go to tflcar.com for more news, views, and of course, this complete list of safety picks so that you know where your car or where your potential new car lands. Yes, thank you. Ciao.